Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. And so uh, Mondays and Wednesdays would wake up, if we have 8 a.m. classes, so we'd wake up uh, again at 5, go out and practice. Uh, Fridays and Saturdays, uh, practicing would be in the afternoon. Well, Saturdays would be in the morning, Fridays would be in the afternoon. And then uh, in season, for camp, uh, well, one, camp as a freshman, it's gonna suck. It's brutal. Like, you you go from playing high school football uh, to getting excited to play college football, and then you have, you just see a whole bunch of guys you don't know, you're not in, like, the environment you used to, so you probably get homesick. I know a lot of dudes got homesick. Like, it's, it's just a uh, complete one, like 180 change. So you gotta uh, get ready to adapt to that also. But uh, we go through camp. Uh, we have two days or three days uh, for camp, the first uh, week and a half. You guys probably see that, the first week on the first week and stuff. And then, um, and then once camp ends, practice, and like we get into the games, Practice really uh, doesn't sell down at all, but uh, it's a lot, a lot more mental, a lot like walkthroughs. Because they know if you're playing college football, they know you're capable of doing it. Like you don't have to, you don't have to go through the drills like, like a 20 minute injury period or uh, ta tackling circuit or stuff like that. Like um, they know you're capable of doing it, so they want you to have your assignments down. That's what it comes down to. Have your assignments down so when you play Saturday night, you're able to execute. And so uh, Mondays, kind of a rest day, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, clean up a little bit, then Thursdays, uh, rest day again, Friday, and then there's a walk in before I keep And then also uh, going on trips away, like, uh, like Alabama, uh, Tennessee, uh, North Carolina. So sometimes we didn't have practice uh, on Fridays, Thursdays, maybe not even Wednesdays, but I believe on Tuesday night, Wednesday night. So, uh, Practice are tough, off-season is tough, but you know, if you're playing, if you want to play, that's what you got to do. Uh, uh, we have a very similar schedule. I mean, you got to have something to play about from 6 a.m. to like 10 a.m. at night. So don't expect to have a lot of free time. Um, I, I, I'm not going to go into detail about the schedule, but the schedule, I, I can't even remember it. You feel like a zombie going throughout the week, like it's really crazy. Like you're not gonna, you, there's nothing to prepare for, like camp or whatever. So you just gotta have a positive attitude every day, attack every day, and uh, make the most of it. But um, it's, it's, it's a struggle, but if you love it, you're gonna do that. Like, you gotta have passion. For it, so. What's the locker and like weightlifting and like complexes? What are like? Uh, they're a lot like Coach B's as far as like you don't do like a full body uh, exercise. But I just had a, uh, we just had a new strength staff come in, so they've done a lot of like core work and um, we've done a lot more stretching and things like that than the previous staff. So they're working a lot of um, mobility instead of just lifting a lot of weight, putting a lot of weight on the back. And a lot of people have like back problems, knee problems, and things like that. So new staff, we had the core stretching, more mobility work, and uh, they're really taking care of our body. So, um, it's a lot similar as far as just like working out and making like there's a lot of super sets and things like that. They're gonna push you, I mean they're gonna be in your face, you gotta you just gotta be able to go through that and push through. Uh, also back to uh, his question uh, about uh, the difference with uh, D2 and D1 is uh, probably the biggest difference is money. Uh, Division three obviously doesn't uh, bring in as much money as the D1 programs. So uh, a lot, I know a lot of Division three schools, like I have friends at Chicago, they don't have full-time strength and conditioning coaches. Like CNU and schools like CNU, Salisbury, uh, very like, top D3 schools, they have, uh, I have two uh, strength coaches, luckily. So they're in, that, in the weight room uh, every day. They give us a workout because of you. But the facilities are, Again, like if you're a top program in Division Three, your facilities will be nicer than a large Division Three program. But with Division One, they bring in a lot more money, so they most facilities at that level are better. Yeah, we get we get taken care of. Uh, <coughs> like we have like muscle, muscle milk and all that stuff there in the weight room. So right when you finish lifting, you just go pick it up and get the protein. Uh, we have. Great training staff. They're there pretty much whenever we are. Almost, all, almost more. 
So uh, they, they tape our ankles every practice and things like that. So officers are pretty good, and uh, I think they're actually working on uh, renovating for next year. So um, if, if you go do one, you're definitely going to be taken care of. But you, you just got to be humble and, and blessed that you made this far. Because you don't take it for granted, man. It's just not something that you take for granted. Uh, what's the average workload that you have for Homer and stuff? Well, uh, that, that definitely varies. <laughs> that varies school to school. Like, um, for me and Justin, we have the CNUs. Uh, it was just ranked the third uh, public school in the beginning. That one is, uh, it's tough. It's really tough. But, and then you have Orange Road and Vanderbilt. That's one of the best schools in the country. So, it's. If you can't manage your time in high school, then good luck in college. Right? You're gonna have, you know, not, <laughs> yeah, no good luck. You probably won't make it. Like you have practice, lifting, games. Then you have uh, you have your schoolwork, classes, studying, you know, reading, and then of course you're in college. You're gonna want to have social life. So if you're dumb, if you're dumb enough to want to make more of a social life, then balance football and your school work, then it's going to suck. Like that's, that's the best way I can put it. Uh, you, you can't have all three. You can't have football, a social life, and have a good grades. But you have, you, have to be on, you have to be on top of your shit. Like you have to be good time management and everything. No big difference is your comfort for yourself. I mean, you teach your conference is no great report sent home to your parents. Or yeah, but if, if it's all you, if you don't do it, that's what you're done. You don't care about the grades and the football. So, 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 so. Okay, what do you guys have for a, uh, like, an in season? <coughs> what's, your, what's your class level? Uh, well, I, well, I ended up taking summer classes, so I took uh, three credits and three credits in July. So uh, we were able to have like, 12 credits. Normally you have around 15 or so. But we were able to have 12 credits in the season because we take summer classes. And um, uh, the, just the workload is we, we have study hall, we have a great like, study hall facility, we have academic advisors, the football program. So they really help us out with like picking out classes that we'll be able to manage in season and out of season. They uh, guide us as far as what our majors are and things like that. And uh, we have well, my, we have like uh, 12 hours of study hall that we have to get a week. So you can get that at pretty much any time. But we basically were, uh, it's all it's all at one so it's called the weekend, so we pretty much live there. We all had football practice there, we had lifting, we had study hall, so we pretty much there the whole time. But um, the academic support group, they're, they're really good, like that's why I support you and keeping you motivated. But like, like, a lot of it is gonna be on you. Like you can't, you can't get anybody else to do your work. You you just got to bump it out and do it. And, um, I mean, it's hard, but it's manageable. And as far as going to school, like, you can see, like, these are like some of the top like, educated people in the, in the nation. So it, it doesn't get any better as far as in the classroom competition and academics. So um, it, it's, you got to learn from them and be able to work a lot because you don't have to, they don't have the schedule that you have. They have more free time. You've got to be more more efficient with your time as far as studying and trying to do homework and things like that. And uh, the, I think one of the biggest differences is uh, the professors, they'll actually really work with you in college. Like if you build a relationship with them, maybe they let, they might let you turn in an assignment later if they know you have uh, a game or something like that. You just got to be able to talk with them and build a relationship with them and uh, hopefully it's a good thing to come from. Make sure you just go to class. You know, yeah. I know a whole bunch of dudes on our football team, like failing. We had one one of our best players actually couldn't participate in spring ball because he had to drop two classes, so it was under twelve credits. And coach was just like, coach I was talking to him about it, and then he said, well, what you do in class uh, this day or this day? He was like, oh, uh, I was in this class. I didn't go to that class. That's that's like in high school, you don't turn in your homework. And, not going to get a good grade in it, but in college, you don't go to class, you're, you might as well drop the class. Like, there's no way you're going to get the material by going to your dorm room, reading the textbook, and hoping the teacher puts some PowerPoints on a Blackboard or, uh, or uh, emails, you know. And you have to go to class and listen to what they say because it's, it's a whole new level, academically and on the There's not homework every day in every class. 
uh, sit up here in high school. So the classes just won't get me in home, just tests and quizzes and follow. So if you need to get away with missing some classes, you can't. If you miss the material that you might not be able to get back, you need to screw for every time you set up your quiz. That's all that material. And you have to think about, like you have to think about your GPA in high school, you also have to think about your GPA in college. Because after, for not for only 1%, there's maybe less I can go to NFL. So that means you're going to have to find another job outside uh, after you graduate, and uh, employers are going to look at your GPA. So, like Justin said, in some classes you don't have homework. In one of in my government class, I had yet 20% like participation, and the rest was yeah, I had one midterm and a one final. I know people who got D's and F's on the final, but only on the midterm, and then they have one grade left in the class. They're not going to get over C, and that's going to pretty much kill the GPA. Then they have to drop a class. Probably might have to take an extra semester. That's, so you have to you have to make sure you focus. You can't you can't slack off at any time. As far as uh, the academic load and um, transferring to the work workforce, like uh, I actually in the through our football program, we have an internship program where we have alumni from Vanderbilt that love football, so they, they ended up interviewing us to uh, see if we wanted to join their uh, the company for an internship. So that's why I'm going back this Tuesday for May. So I have an internship through May and July, May through July, and I'll have uh, workouts and class starting in June and uh, July. So it, it, it's going to be good to get some work experience and actually get my foot in the door as far as uh, get actually going into my field. So I'll be doing management work. So uh, as far as, like, go out and get you some, like, job experiences, talk to people, get build a network where you'll be able to actually get a job when you get out of college or high school. So really take advantage of your time and uh, go, go get it. Okay, any other questions? Let's give these guys a round. And, uh, hey, look, you know, um, real quick, you know, coaches today, we had about four coaches in, um, you know, and some guys got kind of get long faces.